So I've been in Manchester now for two months and I've had absolutely no luck in finding any girlfriends or any kind of relationship and I've even just given up on the whole idea and I don't even bother with Tinder or dating apps. I don't even bother to chat to the people I matched with already because to be honest, it just feels like a waste of time. And this right now, my current life is probably the lowest point in my entire life. I've never felt more miserable, alone and bored in my whole life. I just had this stupid idea that if I came to Manchester and I tried living in a city, maybe I'd end up meeting someone and then something would happen and I can move on to a new stage in my life. But two months has passed and nothing has happened and I just feel terrible and I keep comparing my life back in Japan when I was married and had an actual good partner Comparing it to now, it just feels like there's nothing about my current life that I can honestly say is better now compared to when I was living in Japan. And I just kind of feel really stupid for sacrificing and throwing my marriage away when I had a pretty good marriage and had a pretty good partner in, in life. And I don't know what I'm gaining from making the decision to walk away from the marriage. I feel like at the time there were a few reasons why I wanted to leave the marriage, why I wasn't happy in the marriage. And those, those reasons are just kind of stupid to me right now. So the main two reasons I was unhappy in the marriage were number one, I was worried that views were going down and the channel was going to fail. Well, the views went down and the channel failed anyway, so it's not as if I can say, well, yeah, I'm lonely and I lost my marriage, but at least my channel is booming again. At least my channel is really successful. This is the worst my channel has ever done in, in years. My channel hasn't done this badly since probably the beginning of 2018 before I got that viral video. And I just don't know what I can do to save the channel. And I keep thinking right now that if I stayed in Japan, and even if the channel failed, yeah, so what? The channel failed, at least I'm still in Japan, I still got a wife, I'm not alone and sad and miserable. But now I'm alone, sad and miserable, and my channel failed as well. So it's like, bad, bad, and bad. So the second reason that I wanted to leave the marriage was, at the time during my peak popularity on YouTube, I was getting a lot of female attention. And as someone who never really had much female attention in his life, because I look like this and I'm weird and I've got no confidence. Um, yeah, having a lot of female attention was something very new to me and something that I couldn't resist the temptation of. So I thought that leaving the marriage would give me the ability to go around the world meeting different female viewers or fangirls and then we could have a good time, make content, the channel would boom and then everything would be great. But that didn't happen either. So my channel failed because I'm not really doing anything anymore. And because the channel failed, I don't have the female attention anymore. Girls aren't interested anymore. And they probably think I'm weird and they wouldn't want to get involved with me anyway. So even reason number two, I wasn't able to, well, I did get it a little bit, didn't I, last year. But I didn't manage to sustain it or keep it going. So right now I'm sitting in a position where the channel failed anyway, regardless of what I did. And now there's no more female attention because the channel failed and I've got, you know, I've lost my, my internet fame, my internet popularity. So I kind of have nothing right now. All of the reasons why I wanted to leave the marriage, um, all the things I could get, all the things I thought I could get by leaving the marriage, I failed to get, I'm not getting and I probably won't be able to get it. So I kind of think that I would get back with my ex-wife if the possibility was open. And you might be thinking, oh no, Daniel, this is a terrible idea. If you get back with your ex-wife, you know, the same problems are just gonna happen. You're gonna do this, you're gonna cheat, you're gonna fight again. And yeah, I can understand why you might think that, but after the years, after last year and after all the experiences I've had, I really think I've matured and changed as a person. Honestly speaking, I don't think any of the problems we had before would happen again. So the main problems we had were, we kept fighting because I was saying stupid stuff 
on Discord. Well, I haven't had a Discord since May and I feel completely fine not having a Discord. I have no idea why back then I was so against the idea of deleting the Discord. Back then, even the idea of deleting the Discord was completely unthinkable. I was so addicted to Discord. I would, I was on Discord all day long. There was no way I could not have had a Discord back then. But things are different now. Um, I don't really feel like I need Discord anymore. I finally realized that the people on the Discord did not have my best interests at heart. I feel so silly that I was that addicted to Discord and I couldn't stop myself from saying really dumb stuff and hurtful things about Jahiro all the time on Discord. And now that I don't have the Discord anymore, that's not really a problem. And I feel like I've matured over the years and I've managed to stop myself from saying such stupid things on live streams as well. So the other problem was I kept saying silly things on live streams, trying to be funny. Uh, I kind of realized that I wasn't very funny and I was just saying rude and hurtful things about people that upset them. And it, that was kind of embarrassing. I don't know why I was like that. I think it's because uh, I had all this attention when my channel blew up and then I felt like I wanted to entertain people. And the best way to entertain people, I thought, was to say horrible things about my wife and other people. Now I realize that's really stupid and I don't know why I did that. I look back at my old streams from 2017 and 18 and I kind of, I kind of cringe and I feel embarrassed that I used to be like that. I feel like I have changed quite a lot since then. So I don't really feel like the whole problem of me saying stuff, upsetting her and then having lots of arguments. I don't really feel like that would happen again. So the other problem was um, cheating, I guess. And I don't really feel like cheating would be a problem again because like I said earlier, now that my channel has failed and I don't really have my internet fame anymore, my popularity's gone, I don't really have the female attention that I used to have either. I don't have dozens of girls in my DMs sending me NUDs. So I don't really have that temptation there anymore. And as I've matured, my man drive has also slowed down a bit. I'm not really that obsessed with the idea of having you know what with a bunch of random girls anymore. And after trying out a bunch of random girls who messaged me and trying to date a couple of them, I've kind of also realized that trying to date your viewers is not a great idea. And maybe that's why most YouTubers don't date their viewers because it's just a bad idea. I tried really hard last year with that Dutch girl, Mila, and we all know how that turned out. I just don't think I would be able to ever get some kind of meaningful, stable, long-term relationship with a viewer because they're probably going to be as unstable as I am if they're like reaching out to me for a relationship. That just seems like a bad idea, like a recipe for disaster. And I just haven't really had many good experiences with hooking up with my viewers or trying to date them. And honestly, the marriage to Hero was a way better partner in every single way than any of these viewers I've met up or tried to date. So I feel like I've learned my lesson. You know, I've put my hand in the fire. I got burned. I got a bad experience, several bad experiences, realized why it's bad. And I don't really want to do it anymore. To be honest, the whole idea of traveling to another country just to meet a girl on the chance that she might have cereal with me it doesn't really sound that appealing to me anymore after I've been catfished, ghosted, trolled, I've had my time wasted by so many girls, came all the way to Manchester, she wasn't even interested in meeting me anymore. All these other girls as well, just like leading me on, trying to get me to come to where they live and then just ghosting me or only messaging me when I'm in a relationship and then when I'm finally single again and able to meet them, all of a sudden they stop replying to me anymore. So I've just had all these bad experiences now that has kind of made me bitter and jaded towards the whole dating your viewers thing and I don't really feel like doing it anymore. I don't want to go all the way to different countries and travel thousands of miles just to get trolled or ghosted or catfished it's not really fun and the risk i'm starting to feel like the risk is far outweighing the potential rewards in that kind of situation 
And I'd be willing to, to do stuff like deleting my Instagram because that's where pretty much all the girls message me on. Don't really want the Instagram. The only reason I have the Instagram is so that girls could message me apart from that. Uh, I don't really care that much about uploading photos. I'd be happy to delete the Instagram or give her access to the Instagram so she could always check my messages. Just so to make sure that there's no secret messaging between me and other girls going on, I would be willing to sacrifice my own privacy to make sure she feels like the whole cheating thing wouldn't happen again. And you might be thinking, well, instead of dating your viewers, why don't you just like date a normal person? Well, I tried. The problem with trying to date a normal person is they end up finding my channel just out of pure bad luck and randomness. They find my channel and instantly they get, you know, repelled and repulsed. And they, they don't want to have anything to do with me anymore. And it's gone to the point where I don't really feel like I can keep my channel a secret for very long at least, especially if it's like a, an English girl or a Western girl or even an American girl. Even though my channel has kind of failed now and fell off, unfortunately, people still remember. Uh, even if my channel is, is dead now, millions, it doesn't change the facts that millions and millions of people have seen it from either the Elvis, the, the alien videos or my past viral videos or back when my channel was actually popular back in 2018. People still remember what I look like. Even if my channel gets completely wiped off the internet, it's not going to erase the memories of millions of people. And the chances of some girl that I match on a dating app has a friend or a friend of a friend of a friend who knows my channel, knows my face, and then blows my cover, the chances are just pretty high. So in conclusion, I guess the main thing to take away from this is the grass may seem greener, but it usually never is. And I just really didn't realize how great things were back when I was married, when I was actually married in the, in the moment. When I was in the moment, when I was married back then, I just kept thinking, oh no, my channel's gonna fail. I need to do some crazy drama thing to get views up. Oh no, I, I've got all these girls who like me. I wanna go and meet them. And now the views are gone and the girls are gone and I feel sad and miserable. I'm pretty depressed and I really, really miss living in Japan and I really miss Chihiro and I realize now that she was a really good partner. And I probably won't find a partner as good as she was ever again. Sometimes I feel like this whole YouTube channel has just been an entire, the whole thing, the entire thing is just like a massive curse. You know, the whole corrupt a wish thing. You wish really, really hard for something and then you get it. But there's all of these like negative things attached to it. And now I just feel like blowing up on YouTube is probably the worst thing that ever happened in my life. And right now I don't really have much to show for it. At least if I was really famous and made like millions of it, I could say, well, at least I'm rich now. At least I'm set for life. I can't say that. I didn't make that much money off YouTube. And yeah, I'm not rich. I didn't make millions. And now I'm just suffering all the consequences and the negative parts of it, whilst not really benefiting from any of the good parts. I feel like if it wasn't for the YouTube channel and my, my hunger for views and cereal, then I could have had a pretty happy marriage married life back in Japan, could have had like no drama. None of that drama would have happened if it wasn't for the YouTube channel or the Discord server or the girls messaging me all the time. It's just kind of irritating because how come all these girls were messaging me when I was married and then now I'm single, there's like nothing. It's all gone. All the drama, all the cheating, all of the bad stuff, none of that would have happened if it wasn't for this damn YouTube channel. and. Sometimes I do feel like just deleting the whole YouTube channel, but unfortunately it still makes like a thousand dollars a month in passive income, which I can't really live without. Unfortunately, my stock trading and investing career has not exactly taken off. And um, without the YouTube income, uh, life would be very difficult. I feel like there's probably only two main options, either just delete the whole channel, wipe everything and just get a job and then don't rely on clicks for money or try and control my lust
for views and my lust for cereal and maybe that would be a less destructive way of living.